what we wear often communicates a great deal about us to other people, and in this video we look at what your clothes might be saying about you. Number 1. Always wearing work clothes It's easy to get drawn into wearing work clothing consistently whether at work or at home, especially when you don't have a set uniform at work. This might be for numerous reasons, such as ease when choosing your wardrobe as you don't need to choose and pick outfits. However, this might also communicate to others that you value yourself primarily through work or work related accomplishments, so if you want to change this perception, try to incorporate more casual and personality driven outfits for when you are at home. Number 2. Designer Logos Many items of clothing come with a logo of the designer visible for others to see. While the odd logo isn't likely to be too noticeable, numerous logos on items of clothing immediately begin to project a different image, mostly that others will begin to think that you need to show wealth, possibly in order to be treated well by others. Sometimes subtlety works better, and it's worth wearing blank canvas pieces and only accenting with logos. Number 3. Wearing only neutrals in contrast to the previous point about wearing too many logos, having too many neutral items of clothing can also give off the wrong impression. This is because it can make you appear to be stuck in a psychological rut, are too comfortable to shake it up or are too afraid to draw attention to yourself. Try to mix up clothing to show some of your personality, this might be to have more varied colours, styles or designs. This helps you appear more confident and independent, without projecting arrogance. Number 4. Ill-fitting clothing First and foremost, always remember the first rule of fashion, fit is the most important element of any outfit. Wearing clothing that doesn't fit well can make even the most well thought out outfits look bad, as it doesn't complement your body. However, it can also project that you see your body differently than others or as a reflection of the way it once was, especially if you've gained or lost weight. It can often help to ask for opinions from people close to you, not getting too focused on sizes and making sure that the clothing fits you correctly. Number 5. Keeping old clothes for many who aren't too focused on fashion or clothing, it's easy to fall into the habit of keeping old clothes longer than you should. I'm guilty of this as much as anyone, as once I find something comfortable, I often keep it out of habit, even if it's worn out. However, this can also project sentimentality and a sense of being clingy, as people will see you as averse to change, even if necessary. It's worth going through your wardrobe once in a while to see if there are items that need to be changed due to their age or from wear and tear. Thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest videos.